Balancer is a project that I really like because it allows you to trade, to earn yield for a customized portfolio. And it's very similar to Uniswap, but it has some key difference. For example, uh, in Uniswap, you provide liquidity in a pair. For example, you have 50% ETH, 50% Bitcoin, and it lets everyone trade using your funds, and you get a percentage from that, so every, everyone wins. But in Balancer, it's very, you can do that. You can do that too. You can add to a pair, for example, key. For, for example here, uh, you can have 50% Bitcoin um, and 50% uh, Ether, but you can make pools such as this. You can add 60% ETH and 40% ETH. It lets you customize your pool so it can adapt to what your portfolio want to look like. And you can have even multiple tokens. You can have up to eight tokens in each pool. And I think it's very cool and because it allows you to as, a, as an investor such as as a portfolio manager or, or, or whatever uh, if you want to if you don't want to to sit idle your your investment you can add it to a balancer pool and let everyone trade uh, using it and uh, is and balancer is not only that it, it also has <clears throat> some other stuff going on some different type of pools they experiment a lot and make different types there's there's now Balancer 2 that launched. Um, so in, in, in both versions, they experiment, they make things for such, for, uh, for example, they make it for, uh, there's a pool for bootstrapping liquidity, make, uh, adding liquidity for new tokens, <clears throat> that a pool that the weights change through time. Very interesting stuff going on in Balancer. That's what I really like it. The, interface, the UI is, is very good too. And yeah, in this video, we're going to do a token. We're going to do a balancer token that um, that gets a fee percentage. So what does it mean? It means that for every transaction, you will get a percentage <clears throat> that's going to be taken from the transaction and added to the vault. So we're going to have this smart contract here <clears throat> that we're going to test and we're going to launch in Remix. And yeah, so I'm going to make a new file here. I'm going to delist this old one. I'm going to create a new file. Create a balancer token. <clears throat> so there you go. So this, this, uh, how 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 does this this token work? So we have a few wallet. I'm going to add a wallet from here just to test it out. It's a wallet where all the funds are going to go. So we're going to take a one percent fee. <clears throat> for every buy <clears throat> using a balancer pool we're going to take a two percent sell fee and a two and a zero percent peer-to-peer peer-to-peer transactions uh, or metamask to, to metamask as it's, it's usually called and you can and as you can see here there's a two decimal here so that that's why 100 means one percent and this is added because what if we want to make a 2.5 percent fee transaction we can add it like this so yeah it, it's defined here the, the amount of decimals this, this contract has this contract is based on on, on open zeppelin it's a, I, I basically I, I took the call from open zeppelin and modified it so when uh, 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 when all the, when the funds go to the balancer vault because there is a balancer vault that holds all the tokens all the tokens are in this smart contract and basically when you <clears throat> when you add a token here uh, it's going to to this other specifically so all the tokens are here and that's done to avoid uh, paying extra gas fees because in uniswap when you want to make a trade uh, for example uh, usdc to ether and the 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 pool may recognize that it, it made some automatic arbitrage and make a a trading route basically would mean that oh it's better for you if you trade first a <clears throat> your USDC for DAI and then DAI for Ether and that will that makes that that, that makes the the uh, yeah that that will make make you a better trade but uh, an arbitrage opportunity but uh, in balancer you also do that, but all the tokens are in the same contract. And Uniswap, all the tokens are in different contracts. Each pair has a different contract. So you have to intercommunicate these different contracts, which makes uh, the trade uh, most, most, uh, more, uh, cost more gas. So here, everything is in the same contract. All the hubs 
you you do the hops but only in a, like in a virtual way but not contract to contract so it's cheaper it's cheaper in the, in summary it's cheaper so <clears throat> uh, since all the tokens are in the same smart contract so you can do a token fee <clears throat> Uh, you can grab a token fee by just checking if the, mo the the tokens are going to the vaults means that you are selling the tokens if the token comes from the vault means that you're buying and if neither of those are correct it means that it's a peer-to-peer -peer transaction so that's what we calculate here and that allows you to calculate the fee using this formula and then you can update the balances accordingly take it in from the transaction and add it, it and adding it to the fee wallet so yeah that's why we added a fee wallet where all the funds are going to go so yeah that's basically it um and the, the same is pretty much the, the, the same code as in any uh, open zeppelin contract just make sure to add a taxless uh, taxless um <clears throat> ex some some fee exempt uh, addresses so everything works correctly um, and yeah, so we are going to now go to Polygon uh, and we're going to launch this token in Polygon, Polygon main it. So there you go, we're going to deploy this token. <clears throat> um, and then we will provide liquidity in Uniswap. Okay, so uh, while we yeah so so it was very fast in the now we're going to go to here in the invest part so in the invest you can add funds to existing pairs or not pairs sorry pools because there are more being more than one there may be more than one token but you can also create your own pool so i switch to polygon and i'm going to create a pool and we're going to add our token, I have 1 million of it, That's that was minted on the constructor, 1 million tokens. And we're going to trade it with Matic, because we're using Polygon. And you, as you can see, you can set up your weights. Uh, just, just do it as, as, as you want. You can add another token if you want, it's pretty cool. And yeah, so other than that, you can start creating this pool i'm going to put a very small number here so i don't expend too much matic but basically it will calculate how much matic do you need to add liquidity for a given price so i'm going to <clears throat> go to a series of steps that will allow us to create a pool so first we're going to approve the tokens i'm just going to speed up all this transaction so it gets getting faster and so it's going to go to this three-step process. The first one is approve tokens using the, sp the spender approval safety mechanism that, that every ERC20 token has. So it's approved. Now we have to wait for the UI to, to realize that we approve the tokens. It can, can take a while from the UI to, to fetch the new <clears throat> information from, from blockchain. And uh yeah so the next step is going to be create the pool uh, here you go we're going to create the pool and in this part so wh what's going to happen here under the hood is that uh, we are going to uh, like add a spot in the vault smart contract that will allow anyone with tokens be able to deposit them in in the in the way that the weights are distributed and start er earning earning yield from them and everyone trade <clears throat> using those <clears throat> those uh, those tokens that's that's what the pools are for and the third step is step where we deposit the funds so in this step we're going to deposit the 1 million balancer token that i created and uh, the 0 0.00001 uh tokens uh, mat matrix uh to make the 50 50 percent pool uh so yeah <clears throat> so once this is over we should be able to trade using this so we're going to go to <clears throat> well 
once once this finish we, we will be able to go to <clears throat> to the to the to the trading ui so uh here uh, well this is this is the pool we can add more funds or withdraw but more importantly we can go to the trade ui so we add the address here and we say okay we want to trade this for matic it can take a while for the ui to recognize this for example now it doesn't recognize the trade so yeah we we, we should wait a little bit for this and meanwhile we wait i invite you to uh, like this video, subscribe if you want more about DeFi, NFTs, pray to earn Oracle of Layer 2. We cover all of that in this channel. Uh, if you know French or Spanish, uh, there's some specific channels for that. We will leave it in the description. And yeah, if you want to, if you want to talk about blockchain related stuff, you can join our Discord. Our, this channel is mainly in Spanish. The, the main channel is Spanish, so but we have an English channel on the Discord too. So you are very welcome to join us. So we're going to make a trade, uh, but 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 we're going to do it with a secondary account so we can see the fees, the fee transaction fees. So we're going to go to a third account here and we're going to make the trade using this, uh, this account. So using the account tree, we're going to make the trade. We're going to speed it up a little bit. There you go. And um, yeah, once this is confirmed, we should be able to see our tokens. But as you can see, we bought 100 tokens, but only got 99 because the other token went to the um, to the to the vault, to the token vault address. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and let's hope to see you in another video. Bye.